Our commitment was brilliant tonight. You know, again, we weren't we weren't faultless by no means. There's a lot of errors we can still patch up on, but um, like we spoke in the week, you know, all the retired, they're in form and the line speed tonight, they got in our faces, but um, we got back to something we knew. You know, a couple of calls didn't go our way, and, but you know, we hung, we hung in there, and we knew we would come back. And um, I thought, you know, tough win tonight, and it sets us up nicely. You know, we, we know we can, we've got to get better for next week, and you know, we're still, we're still, in, the, we're still in the hunt for the grand final, that's the main thing. You really limited their opportunities tonight. Is that, that something you aim to do through the week? Yeah, we knew they'd been posting points, you know, and it was something we need to work in our defence. We, we were disappointed last week, and uh, you know, we weren't we weren't squeaky clean around the middle. They, they did punch some portals in us and sent Helen to probably look at that or whoever we you know what um, leads are looking at whoever we get. But um, we know we can get better around there, so um, you know we've got things to work in the week, but you know we're still in the app for the next round and. Um, Hopefully we can, I'm sure we'll get better. We couldn't generate any speed to play the ball. Uh, we just weren't good enough on the ground and, and they were too good or, or allowed to be too good, whichever way you want to look at it. But, um, but no, no complaints, it was there, there for both teams to, to use. And uh, we, um, we started getting some quicker play the balls at the back end of the game and uh, you can see what we can do off the back of that. So, yeah. And how proud have you been of the boys sort of getting to this stage of the season and especially sort of the results yeah. that have come into this game? Look, we've, we've, we've had a tough year and I know everyone's going to say that, but there's been a lot of adversity, there's a lot of changes, a lot of injuries and um, I'm, I'm that proud of the boys, the way they've stuck together and to still be here and, and still fighting with you, know, 10 minutes to go. Um, that proud of them and, and that proud of it. And I think our supporters are fantastic, the way they got, get behind the boys, you know, whether we're at home or away. Well, we've got to have the best supporters in the comp, I really believe that. Um, yeah, just going back to basics, uh, playing a bit of finals football, you know, just rather than forcing the pass, just playing a bit of territory and, and the points will come and that's what happened tonight. Is it that sort of mindset that sort of really does it for Hunt and do you think, you know, challenge cup, we've seen you go and lift that and now it's knockout again, it, you, you're doing well? Yeah, I think it's do or die and we know that we have to be at our very best and that's when we perform best, when we've got the pressure. Uh, Hopefully we can replicate that for the next week and get into the grand final. I thought we were deserved winners. It was a typical semi-final, uh, very intense. Uh, Hully improved even from last week, I thought, and they, they come to play. Uh, but I just thought we had too much from them. They had a bit of a rally, uh, you know, the last 15 minutes, but a good game, yeah, good to play in. Yeah, it was um, obviously disappointing not to, to get the win last week, but, you know, it might benefit us, you know, playing straight through and not having that week off. Obviously, some teams struggle on the back of that. I think actually Warrington did last year when they had the week off, so you know we're happy to play straight through. And like I said, we've got a good win under our belt tonight. There were a disapp bit of disappointment about the the way you attacked last week when I spoke to a few of the boys. Uh, something that you're, you're right tonight. Yeah, last week we probably forced a lot of ball that wasn't really on, you know, and tried to score on every player. Where you know probably needed to be that bit more patience and just build pressure. But you know, I think even tonight we probably you know forced a couple of balls that weren't really on and. You know, that probably gifted them possession. We could have gone gone in a bit, probably a bit more points in front. You know, if we'd have built that pressure. But you know, thankfully, you know, like I say, our, our attack was a bit better tonight, and, and we still managed to get them tries. The free free trophies that are offered, we, we want to be competing for all. And Wigan just pipped us to the <coughs> to the league leaders, and uh, the next thing is to go and get that grand final, and that's what we want. And it's probably the aim of mo all the Super League clubs to, is to lift that, and that's the biggest trophy out there. Yeah, it's you know it's semi-final football now, so you know every game was tough, and you know we're, we're not really fussed where we go. Obviously, we've we've been to Wigan and won this year, and we've been to Saints and won this year. So you know we, wherever we go, we're confident that we can you know turn on the put in a good performance and you know get the win. So like I say, it's down to Wigan now, and, and we'll just enjoy the challenge. And that knockout football again benefiting this Warrington team. Yeah, we seem to be pretty good at the knockout stuff. Uh, you know, obviously this year, and obviously it's. It's going to be, like you say, interesting one tomorrow as, as to who, who we're going to pick. But you know, we we relish the challenge. You know, if we're going to pick us, the you know kind of 
putting us down and think they can get one over on us. So, you know, we'll just, like I said, we'll just have to wait and see and, and we'll relish the challenge either way. Still confident this Warrington team can go and claim that, that trophy? Definitely, yeah. I think, you know, like I said, we had, we had a blip last week, but I think we've put a few things right tonight and, you know, building the momentum going into next week from, from tonight's game, we're, we're confident we can do a job wherever we go.